Hello everyone. So I uh, I am here to teach you how to work with fat simulation. Okay? Entitled charges and field so that you can answer your experiment 1 about mapping of electric field lines and equipotential surfaces. So this is just a tutorial video so that uh, you will know about what are uh, how what are the functions of the buttons there what are the features of the simulation so so first you have to log into your VLE account and then you will see this one this file the fed simul simulation charges and fields so you can click that one and you will be directed to this simulation okay so you can you can now uh, interact with this simulation in your VLE core site okay so unsa man day mga kwan ani mga functions aning naadari so what are the functions of of this uh mga features so this one so we have a positive 1 nano column and a negative 1 nano column charge and we also have a sensor okay so the positive 1 nano column is of course if you are tasked to to put a charge in a simulation space so this is our simulation space okay can in black today and then if you want to to put a positive or a charge in a a simulation space you just have to drag it and then put it here okay so you can put it that way and then as you can see na na put na siya okay so put na siya sa simulation space and then if you want to drag another so pwede siya so you can put anywhere here so if you want to move your charges anywhere in space so you can drag it naman okay so anywhere in the simulation space now uh, if you want to to take back the charge that you put in the simulation space what you're going to do is you just drag it padulong sa negative 1 nano column here okay same lang gihapon aning positive 1 nano column but if you want like gusto, gusto, uh, if you want na hindi na kayo mag uh, hindi na dili na mo magtagsatag sa og Pugbalik aning mga charges there is so what you're going to do is you just have to use this one this means reset okay so all of the charges so what you're uh, all of the uh things in the simulation space will now be uh gone because you you choose here a reset button now so what are the importance of this feature here so we are done with this one so what are the importance of this feature now when you click electric field what will happen is that if i put a positive nano nano column charge here so these are the electric field diba so but when i turn off the feature of electric field so there is no uh, arrow here because that arrow represents our electric field so i will turn on this one for the sake of tutorial so you can see here but as you can see here, nakita niyo that when uh, when we are going away from the charge, some arrows here are be becomes uh, blurry, niba becomes blurry siya. So what you're going to do is if you want to see all of the the electric field direction anywhere in simulation space, you just have to turn on the direction only feature so you can see uh, electric field anywhere in space. So meaning that this represents the direction of the electric field now how about if we turn on the voltage feature so what will happen is it will just make the uh the charge bright okay so for example we have a red red charge here so it will become a brighter red charge okay so how about for the values okay so we, we will get back to the values but uh let's move on to grid so what is the importance of grid so grid is actually for convenient lang okay if 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 the your experiment uh very kanang uh very uh careful or very kanang ana siya instruction dito na nag specify nga unsay axis unsay distance nila asa siya dapit and so on so you just have to turn on the grid feature so you can see here 
uh, like a graphing paper so you can you can put your charge here as your origin kibale so you this line will be your y-axis and this line will be your x-axis so you can you can do it that way okay so if ever not your your experiment does not uh, is not specific uh, it's not specific with you know the x-axis and y-axis component so you can just turn off the grid feature okay so by unchecking it now how about this one okay so how what is the the importance of this one so actually this one is actually the equipotential detector so pala siyang siya yung mag measure yun ng mga uh, potential anywhere in space as you can see here voltage okay so for example at this point meron kang 2.341 volts at gusto mo nang uh, i-draw yung equipoten uh, potential surface dito so what you're going to do is you just have to click the pencil na button here so then you can see a green line that represents the equipotential surface na na ay potential na 2.341 volts but when you want to delete that one so you just have to use the eraser here and then it will auto automatically delete okay so next uh okay so 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 imo lang i-drag ang katong voltage nga measurement here sa imong imuhang imuhang simulation space so para makita ni mo ang iyahang value sa sa potential okay then kung gusto ni mo siya ibalik you just put it right back where it belong okay so it will autom automatically na may ana siya and then how about this one so this tape tape measure is like actually the uh, the measuring of distance okay so for example gusto na ko i-measure ang distance ni uh, I have negative here gusto na ko i-measure ang distance ni positive and negative so i just have to put this one here then i can drag it like this one so that i can measure the distance so the distance measured by this tape measure is actually in centimeter okay so when you want to put it back so just like the equipotential uh, the, the the voltage na instrument here measuring uh instrument so you, you can just put it where it belong okay so then it you know it it looks like this after the ion so how about the sensor so the sensor represents actually like this one so para siyang ganyan okay so the sensor will will actually measure how much electric field is here anywhere in space okay so the electric field magnitude is given by the red arrow as you can see here so while i you know ako siyang gina uh while i move the yellow arrow here so okay and then like that and then if i want to put it right back so just put it like what you did for the charges okay then how about this one so this is actually for uh, if you're going to to have a screenshot or gusto mo ng full screen or gusto kayo ng uh, pumunta sa FET website so you can actually use this uh, button here okay then you are done so that's the FET simulation charges and field thank you